I'm Dan Piazza, curator of the National Postal Museum exhibition Baseball, America's Home Run, on view until January 2025. Join me for an inside look at some of the most exciting objects from this blockbuster show that explores America's national pastime through stamps, mail, and memorabilia. Babe Ruth's 1920 debut season with the New York Yankees saw him hit 54 home runs and single-handedly save the sport from ruin in the wake of the 1919 World Series gambling scandal. Smithsonian Books author Stephen Wong, who also serves as honorary advisor and a major lender to baseball America's home run, has a closer look. In one of the uh, rooms at this wonderful exhibition, the Postmaster Suite, you're gonna see a very beautiful photo above the fireplace of Babe Ruth swarmed by hundreds of children in Syracuse, New York on August 11th. There's a quote uh, on top of this image, whoever wants to know the heart and mind of America had better learn baseball. It was by Jacques Barzon, who was a very famous French-American historian uh, back in the days that Ruth had played. And this quote is quite uh, a a applicable here because I was thinking that whoever wants to know the essence of Babe Ruth had better look at that photo. And this is one image that perhaps captures the, the very essence of Babe Ruth more than any other image. Uh, he is in his middle of hundreds of children wearing a straw hat, and it just captures the essence of his popularity. In fact, in the, in the Roaring Twenties, um, many people felt that he was the most famous American uh, that had ever lived, even more so than George Washington and Abraham Lincoln because of his popularity. As Dan Piazza had said, one of the objects in, this, uh, in our exhibition, in the Postmaster Suite, is the very bat that Babe Ruth used during the 1920 season, his first year with the New York Yankees, and a year in which he single-handedly saved baseball from the tragedy of the 1919 uh, World Series gambling scandal. What's interesting about this bat and what most bat collectors look at is the game use. It's a very different context than display items, uh, baseball cards, for example, um, advertising pieces, photographs, and, and stamps, which were largely consumer items. Uh, when you get to game use bats, these are the objects to which the player um, used in order to perform their genius. And in the case of Babe Ruth, um, 1920 was one of his greatest seasons. Having been sold from the Red Sox to the Yankees, if you look at this bat, there is tons of uh, game use characteristics that are completely uh, associated with Babe Ruth. First and foremost is the ball marks which are all across the left, right, and back barrel of the bat. You have cleat marks. Uh, when Babe Ruth was at the plate uh, at Yankee Stadium or other American League parks, he would use the bat to knock the, uh, the mud or the dirt from his cleats before you know, taking the bat back and ready to swing. Um, also, uh, what's, what's telling about this bat is the scoring on the handle which is typically not seen on a lot of Babe Ruth's bat, but this one in particular has scoring, and, and Babe either used a sharp, sharp object or a bottle cap to actually uh, score the handle uh, to prevent slippage in his hand. And there's also, you can see elements on the handle area of tape remnants. It's still uh, on the bat when you see it in the Postmaster Suite. You will see their tape remnants were there. What's beautiful about this bat too is that if you look to the right of the center brand, uh, you will see four small holes, as well as a shadow area, uh, which has a lighter colorization than the rest of the bat. And you ask, why is that the case? Well, that's because a label was affixed to the bat. Hillary and Bradsby, who was the maker of Louisville Slugger, had actually placed the label on that bat 
and subsequently sometime uh, in the 1930s or 40s when Hillerick and Bradsby did their Louisville Slugger traveling exhibition tour across America to showcase bats used by very prominent baseball players such as Babe Ruth, Ty Cobb, Napoleon Lajoie, and Tris Speaker, uh, they brought this very bat that's in the exhibition of Baseball America's Home Run. Ruth might have performed uh, a record-breaking hit or home run with that very bat, and that uh, label is, uh, gives it its prominence and provenance to the bat that, uh, that bat collectors look at very closely. Since his death in 1948, Ruth has been featured on three U.S. postage stamps and a postal card, meaning he is tied with Jackie Robinson for the most appearances by a ball player on U.S. postal paper. For more on the intersection of postal and baseball history, visit the National Postal Museum exhibition Baseball America's Home Run online at postalmuseum.si.edu slash baseball.